Right, it's been, um, oh, I don't know, maybe two months or so now. I need to go and check, but it's been quite a while since I've been using um, the PD's product. So uh, Loam Foam, the Link Lube, and the uh, Drive Train degreaser. And I've just got a little bit of uh, feedback and advice, I guess, on them. So it's going to be a quite a quick video. So first of all, um, teaching people to suck eggs. But basically, this stuff, as you can see, is two fluids in there, as with a lot of things. You got to give that a shake up. Second bit of advice with this, as you can see, it's very, very runny. When you're applying this to your chain, you'll probably find that it comes out really, really quickly. So it's possible to over lubricate your chain, if I'm honest. Um, so just be careful. It comes out very quick and uh, make sure you shake it up. Right. While we're talking about the chain, the foam degreaser, this is excellent. I really couldn't recommend this enough it's fantastic it really does exactly what it says on the tin and this foaming um foaming part on the nozzle here just means that everything goes on and is focused and um and just sticks whereas if you spray sometimes the mist means things that misses and you lose a lot of stuff so um i think that the foaming thing on here is is fantastic um it means that everything just goes and sits nicely and just fizzles away a little bit on your on your cassette so that's great stuff quick warning that will kill your grass and my wife um won't be very happy about it just to let you know right the loam foam loam foam is excellent it does a really good job and all of these three they just smell lovely it just or oh, like ice cream or bubble gum or something. I don't know, but it just smells really nice. It should come with some sort of health warning because it smells so nice. Anyway, loam foam, really good. Um, that's, um, I haven't had to clean the bike a huge amount because obviously we've had some quite decent weather. Quick bit of advice with this as well now. So as with the degreaser, you've got the foaming uh, option here. What I found is that delivers a lot of cleaning fluid. So it comes out um, perhaps a little bit more than you need. So if you want to conserve it and use it in moderation, the foamer is probably not the one you want. And you want to flip this open and put it just onto the spray nozzle. You have to be a bit more careful because you want to hold that closer to the bike. Because I hate seeing these videos where there's just foam and spray everywhere because I think that all of the stuff's just wasted. So just a quick um, example just to show you. It's hard to tell there because the foaming might actually make it look like it's expanded, but I definitely feel that this setting uses half as much of the fluid as this setting. So if, um, you know, this kind of stuff's not cheap. So if you want to make it last, then perhaps try it on the, uh, on the spray rather than the foam. Anyway, there you go. Just thought it'd be a bit a quick bit of advice um, because it sounds really daft, but but yeah, you know, you don't want to waste this stuff. I hate seeing those because I hate seeing those videos for the muck off um, spray. What's it called? I don't know what it is. And you see people just plastering the side of bushes and trees and walls. Well, I don't know. I reckon 90 percent of it misses the bike. It just seems like a waste to me. So um, I'm all about not wasting stuff. So, yeah, give that a shake. Don't get that on your grass. Maybe try that on the spray setting rather than the foam setting. Any questions, pop them below and I'll see you in another video.